The Vatican document on human dignity covers a lot of territory, but the two points that are getting the most attention are on call it, the calls of gender affirming surgery and surrogacy are grave violations of human dignity on par with things like abortion and euthanasia. Uh, this is not a new position for the Vatican. Pope Francis himself has said this before on several occasions, um, but it was still uh, saddening to the trans community um, who called it a, an outdated and harmful declaration from the very authoritative Vatican Doctrine Office. Um, Pope Francis has made reaching out to the LGBTQ community really a hallmark of his papacy, and yet he has a real problem with uh, what he calls gender ideology. Um, and so this document now puts that on paper uh, in, a, in a very authoritative way. Um, Cardinal Victor uh, Fernandez, who's the head of the Vatican Doctrine Office, presented uh, this document today at a press conference. Um, he acknowledged that it comes after a previous document which uh, called for the, the allowance of, of blessings for same-sex unions. So he acknowledged that there were two different messages coming out of the Vatican, uh, but he said they are consistent. Uh, they are both consistent with Pope Francis's message of welcome, um, but his belief that um, that men and women are born that way uh, and that coming together when there is sex involved, it is for the procreation, creation of new life.